Now, staying on North Korea, but moving on to its missile threats, will the secretive regime go ahead with a missile launch today as anticipated by South Korea's and many others? To give us some clues on that pending question, we now go live on the phone with our Han Daun at the Defense Ministry here in Seoul. Now, Taun, what's happening there right now? Kanyang, there are ample signs that show a North Korean missile launch may be imminent, but so far, the launch hasn't taken place. The defense ministry says North Korea is highly likely to fire its missiles within this week, if not today. And speculation is rising that along with the highly anticipated mid-range Busudan missile, Pyongyang may launch shorter-range missiles simultaneously from different sites. Four to five transporter erector launchers that appear to be the ones used for Scud and Nodong missiles have also been spotted. Scud and Nodong missiles have a range of up to 500 and 1,500 kilometers, respectively. An important point to note here is that uh, the mid-range Busudan missile with a range of more than 3,000 kilometers has not been fired by North Korea before. Pyongyang is trying it out for the first time, and so some experts here say uh, that the regime is planning to launch other types of missiles at the same time as a backup uh, in case the Musudan fails. So the launch could come at any minute, but opinions vary on how and over what period of time North Korea will launch the short and mid-range missiles. Kanyang? Now, Tone, I suppose uh, the key question here, here is how uh, the Seoul's uh, defense ministry is preparing for the launch. What's the mood there like at the moment? Well, it's much busier than usual, but uh, military officials seem to be calm, yet ready for anything. The South Korea U.S. Combined Forces Command raised its watch condition, or watch con surveillance, from level 3 to level 2. Now, level 1 is the highest alert, and it has not been issued at any time in Korean history. As for the question of the missile's trajectory, spokesman Kim min Sok told reporters this morning that uh, the expected path of the mid-range Musudan missile could be towards the East Sea or the South Sea, past South Korea's Jeju Island and towards the Philippines. But other shorter range missiles are expected to fly in an easterly direction and so will have no impact on South Korea. The South Korean military has deployed two Aegis destroyers in the East and the West Sea to watch out for missile activity. The spokesman said he also assumed that it'll most likely be a test firing, uh, as in the past, but reiterated that a test firing, too, is a provocative act. And just as a reminder, North Korea test fired a long-range missile at a similar time last year and test fired several short and mid-range missiles in 2006 as well as 2009. Back to you. Thank you, Don, for that, and I'm sure you'll keep us updated throughout the day. That was our Han Daun reporting live from South Korea's Defense Ministry.